Hi, this is Chef Ben from Roth Living in Denver, here to talk to you about the ovens in your Wolf Dual Fuel range. Just so we'll know a little bit about how to use your oven, how to set it up, and familiarize yourself with the appliance. So let's have a look inside so we can get a sense of what the oven is all about. So this oven has four cooking or heating elements in the oven. The lower element, the hidden element below the floor is our baking element. Above in the ceiling is our broiler element. And then there are two elements around the convection fans in the back of the oven, each one wrapped around the fan to generate heat for our convection system. Inside the oven also, you're gonna get two different styles of racks in the oven. The lowest rack in the oven on position one, which is the bottom layer of the rack, is a standard sliding rack with an upturned handle to allow easy sliding onto these stainless steel glides on the door of the oven so you can place a large roasting pan here so you can load it without any trouble and then slide it back into the oven in that lowest rack position. The second style of rack is our full ball bearing glide rack, which slides easily out of the oven so you're able to access whatever it is you're baking or roasting on that oven. This, oven. this oven rack is easily removed by extending it all the way out, lifting up, and then sliding the rack from the oven. Then to reinsert, close the two glides, position this portion right there on the side rails so that they're locked in. Then once those are in, simply slide it backwards into the oven. It'll lock in place and now easily glides out for easy loading. The third rack is similar to the one on the bottom, except the handle is flat. And that can be positioned anywhere in the oven for ease of use. All right? Now when you're operating your oven, you're gonna have 10 different modes. Those modes are accessed on the bezel that surrounds this black knob in the center of the panel. Each one of the non-highlighted modes is your still oven modes, where there is no convection present in the oven. In the highlighted section are all your convection modes, where the fans are actually in full operation whilst you're, whilst you're cooking. The temperature is then raised or lowered by clicking this knob in either direction, high or low. Single clicks increase the temperature by one degree. Holding the knob down in either direction will increase in five degree increments. The center panel on the oven includes all your auxiliary functions to the, for the oven. Your clock, your timer, your probe settings, your oven light, and your stop time and cook time features so that you're able to completely program it when you would like the oven to cook and then to stop. Now upon receiving the oven, you're gonna to wanna to get it set up so it's ready to use. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just take a lightly wetted cloth, wipe out the interior cavity of the oven, then set the oven in roast mode and your temperature to 550 degrees. Allow the oven to cook for about an hour just to burn off all the, the smells and, and interior um, packaging material that might be left in the oven and get it prepped and ready for use. Make sure that when you do that, you're using your ventilation system on full power. Now that the oven is ready to use, the one no-no that there is is please don't line the bottom of your oven with any sort of aluminum foil or liner because that will just ruin the look of your oven and also um, it's not covered by warranty if something goes wrong um, because you put that foil on the bottom. So if you're interested in more videos about with recipes and learning about the use of your oven, follow the link below to follow us on social media and look forward to future videos here on the Roth Living Channel.